there's one thing that has held back previous releases of the Metal Slug franchise on the iOS platform, and that one thing is simply its controls. The games are, without question, just as amazing as they were in the arcades, and the perfect fodder for gamers after a hardcore side-scrolling shooter. But games like this live and die by their controls, and sadly, SNK Playmore has missed an opportunity to come up with a novel solution. If you've never played Middle Slug, I thoroughly recommend getting hold of your local nerd and asking him or her to hook you up and show you what it's like. That, or go to your local arcade. In short, it's almost akin to playing the most challenging of bullet hell games, but in the form of a platformer. Think Contra on steroids and with a makeover. Unfortunately, the iOS release has its beautiful visuals smothered from all angles. Be it from your own fingers, even in the 4x3 aspect ratio, you can expect some bleeding over. Or by the slowdowns that affect the game when firing more than a few bullets with smoothing and no scan lines on. At its best, the game looks positively shameful, and making precise maneuvers with the virtual buttons on offer is unsatisfying, even if it does sometimes work in your favor. This, no doubt, explains the insane amount of credits you're afforded to continue the game while playing. At least you'll be able to bludgeon your way through to the end, if nothing else. Metal Slug is a classic not only for its time, but to this day it remains a quality side-scrolling platformer that challenges you to think carefully before diving into the action. The iOS release is no less polished thanks to bringing the game over wholesale, but alternative solutions are needed to solve the control problem before it's recommended. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.